I had to pick one thing about the Jag, what would be the best thing about it? It's the Jag. Hey shady baby, I'm hot, like the prodigal sun. It's an emotional decision to buy a classic car, and that one, it's uh, good family memories. It's the same car I had as a kid, um, so I grew up with Jags. Because one of the memories we have of the Jag is it was that model with the big engine, and mum and dad were at the Savoy, because dad was a high-ride, you know, high-flying exec, and they had a chauffeur that was the business provided them with the chauffeur, so mum and dad were in the, the Jag, they'd driven up to the Savoy for a business dinner. Anyway, Charles was this lovely guy, he was a World War One veteran, so this would be in the early 60s, about 1961, 62, and he's sitting in the Jag waiting outside the, the Savoy, reading a paper or maybe having a coffee, and suddenly a policeman knocked on his door because there, there was a car had gone through very fast I think had committed a crime and he said right I'm commandeering this vehicle put your lights on full beam put the hand on the horn and follow that car so uh, Charles spent the best part of an hour chasing doing a high-speed chase around London with a policeman unbeknownst mum and dad who were having a lovely corporate do in, in the Savoy they came out and said how are you Charles? dashboard. It's a bit stylized World War II fighter cockpit. What I really love is this is a cigarette lighter in most cars but in the Jag it's not a cigarette lighter. Cigar. Now real Jags, all Jags have a clock. There's a little on the uh, tachometer here, the rev counter. It's got a little clock. Those clocks never work in the Jags. If that clock's working it's not a Jag. Bits of taping in case you need to taste, tape the uh, dashboard lids back on your carburetors, always useful. Glove box, as all glove boxes should be full of rubbish, but look at this one, when it opens up, if you turn the light on here, look at that. Light, glove box, automatic glove box light, fantastic. See this? Special warning, when new, that triangle was painted red, it's a warning triangle. It says they're disc brakes, because this car would stop quicker than anything else. It had all round power assisted disc brakes, unheard of in the late 50s, early 60s. What are the biggest sort of troubles you've had with the Jag? There was the exhaust falling off, rear diff falling apart, there was a starter motor dissolving and finding that in pieces beneath the car. There was taking it in for service one day and finding out one of the head bolts had sheared and the whole engine needed rebuilding. Then after the rebuild, there was the overheating, then the tuning. The overdrive working, not working. Oh, what else? Oh, did I say, oh yes, and the gearbox fell off. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen next. In fact, I'm gonna quote my Uncle Bill on that. Dave, you will never make an old car into a new car. And he was right. <laughs> and I've been proving that ever since. <laughs> so, if you didn't have the Jag today, right, and you yeah. knew all of the repairs and everything that would have to go into it, all the costs added up, would you choose the Jag or a Tesla? I'd have to have both, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tesla now is what the Jag was in 1959 when it came out. It's full of new technology, it, it's well priced. It, it just makes the, you know, the, the, the luxury marks, whether it's Maserati or Mercedes or BMW, just makes them look silly. So I, 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 I would have both uh, if I could afford it. It's not really one or the other. If you could only have one car for the rest of your life, Oh, it'd be the Jag, sorry. Oh, you know, I have to do my bit for global warming. <laughs> Hello? RCQ? Yeah, it's me again. Yep, green Jag. 805 CAT. Rosemount. Yeah, yeah, I think the truck truck will do. Are you going to send Sam or Bob today? Yeah, they, they, yeah, they know me. They'll recognise the car. You don't even need a description. Okay. Lovely, how long? Three hours? Well, you're living in the street.